Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got AOSB ROM version 1.2.9 for Galaxy S3. Now I have already made a video for the version 1.2.5 which was a fine ROM by the way and this one brings about a lot of new changes so let's get into the ROM now. First of all what you would see here is the normal uh, lock screen which comes with all the KitKat ROMs so nothing special there the launcher is a normal uh, light launcher which is pretty cool you can use that it doesn't have the swipe for Google Now feature but hey that's pretty cool now let's go to the settings menu you can see that uh, the settings now AOSB ROM uh, something something of a overview of the ROM this one is was previously known as program series of ROMs now this ROM does really make a different approach to making a ROM rather than having a generic Android operating system you will you will get something more so that's pretty cool you can see uh, it was made it is made by codex advanced web solution that's the creator so that's pretty cool you have a USB update statistics change log you do have change log app in built so this is 1.2.9 version so you can see a lot of changes from the lead, uh, previous version of 1.2.9 that also has a lot of changes so yeah each version has a lot of changes cranked into it so that's something pretty cool now let's uh, go on with it now it is based on KitKat latest version 1.2.9 based on the latest nightly of unofficial Mod 13 to 2014 Mod 11 so you have all that info there you also have a separate about AOSB where you can know that this is the real website of the website uh, of the ROM AOSB uh, the contributors that is science mod etc etc you have a lot of options here so that's pretty neat now let's get into the options now Th that's really all about the ROM now you have lock screen options in the lock screen options you can see screen security etc Pre pretty standard I say uh, it does have lock screen notification which is pretty cool uh, it has normal uh, lock screen security so nothing special there but it does have show slider before secure and lock so if you have a pin or something like that, you, if you enable this, you will still get the slider before you get in for the pin. So that's something really cool. I normally use that with uh, exposed modules. So it gives you uh, that option with for hand. So that's really cool. Now in the animation controls, you have the full animations from the Omni ROMs. So you have system animation, which is the AOKP system animation, which is really cool. You have a lot of options there. Now list view animations also you have extra features like uh, list viewer duration a lot of them so you can even exclude applications like uh, system application which you, which are really important which where you don't really need uh, animations and stuff scrolling animation also you have uh, these options you can fling, uh, increase the fling velocity fling friction fling friction overall distance over scroll distance so you can have over scroll that is I guess it's a bounce effect so you can have that um, uh, and also keyboard animation which is enter and exit animation for the keyboard so you and you can also test it here so yeah it has a lot of animation control AOSB in back is the TRDS option you have it 3.0 so you have automatic or manual switching you can do that pretty neat theme option it does support all the Cyanogen mod theme this this ROM is basically based on Cyanogen mod with a lot of UI changes so that's what I want you to uh, consider this ROM as so it does support most of the uh, science and mode 11 themes so that's pretty cool the interface settings houses most of the settings now first of all what you see here is a custom progress bar option you can see the progress bar is customizable that's really cool uh, progress bar I guess is something which you see everywhere and you can customize that you can have mirror mode enabled or disabled you can reverse the flow speed of it uh, stroke width separator length section counts etc etc you can do a whole lot of stuff with it you can even change the colors of each segment so that is really great it does have omni switch which is recessed it doesn't uh, show up very often but omni switch is really cool but in this ROM the recent panel is really different it uses kind of like an I I see uh, what should I say the iPhone style recess panel you can see large thumbnails it does have RAM bar you can see the RAM usage with uh, these running is for 541 megs free and 291 megs used so yeah 
uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys it does have clear all button which close the settings menu I have to go back uh, recent RAM value uh, RAM bar what you saw earlier you can enable that you can enable that with whatever option you want LCD density now this is available you can select the normal presets which are available or you can have a custom value which you can even have a custom option so yeah that's really cool gesture anywhere is something which I use frequently from the fusion ROM um, fusion Bifla ROM so this is available you can just click here you can just touch here and a screen will open up where you can add a gesture which app opens up an activity or an app which is really great you do have system app remover that's something which I really appreciate because I flash the normal full modular G apps package which has the um, launcher enabled the Google experience launcher enabled so I just delete it from here rather than going through the file manager and doing stuff with that. It does have active display as I mentioned so you can enable active display with pocket mode. Again do not active, do enable this one with the lock screen notification uh, pocket mode so that's something which uh, I guess everyone should know by now. App bar option it does have app bar that's something which uh, keeps this ROM away from the other normal ROMs. This one does feature an app bar which is really cool. Most of people do use app bar myself. I don't use app bar that often, but it's available. So that's really cool. Now INITD options as I normally say do not mess with this unless you know what these mean. So yeah, build out props also the same way. Do not mess with it unless you know what it means. Status bar options has a lot of uh, has, it does really cool features. Now you have you can enable or disable the percentage. You can change the battery status icon styles. Uh, pretty neat you can have the battery bar option you can enable that or uh, do whatever you want with it you I have just enabled the battery bar change the color alignment mirror it uh, etc options you have a lot of them uh, double tap uh, this is the bounce animation I guess it required me to restart the settings menu so yeah it does have double tap to sleep which is really useful if you want to save the power button quick setting panel now it uses the cyanogen mod quick setting panel which is really cool it does have the camera option which I really like I normally use this camera uh, it's really a cool one um, it also has tiles which is really cool you can enable flip tiles and also you can enable four tiles per row which I normally use now you can also have quick pull down from one edge you can select one edge so that's really cool this is the normal one uh, the tiles are now four tiles uh, per row so that's really great that's something which I use always this is the no only reason I would go for the slim style uh, quick settings uh, it, because it has styles option it has the lock screen notification option in here too rather than uh, also in the uh, lock screen options so that's something you can have external desktop similar options you can understand that notification drawer option you can change the theme etc style that is uh, the background color transparency etc you can change those you can show Wi-Fi name or not if you are connected to Wi-Fi the KitKat option it gives you the carrier here and the Wi-Fi uh, name also here I really don't like the Wi-Fi option there so I just keep it disabled you can have quick access ribbons which is really cool it gives you a ribbon here which can be linked to the quick tiles or you can have your own layout it does have uh, the navigation bar which is this one you can change the dimensions of it it's really cool it really works out pretty neat um, you can change the uh, options here the navigation bar you can change the options here this is something which I really appreciate I can just delete all of these add few apps which are really cool it, it I guess this is from the AOKP release of ROMs so this has a lot of options you can change the settings etc etc you have a lot of options there it does come with the exposed module I guess the exposed module is not installed you have to install this manually but it comes with it so that does bring down the work a bit less it does have uh, per app settings and Netflix workaround which is really cool it does have halo and multi window now if you enable halo you cannot use the multi window option so that's something which is which you have to choose between them uh, now halo is enabled I just disabled halo I'll show you guys the multi window option which is really cool now uh, the settings menu is enabled right I, again the uh, recent menu is really beautiful I, this is something which I really appreciate from a ROM it tries to make the experience different so that's really cool I guess this is iPhone style 
thing so yeah you just saw the anti to benchmark score so you can enable that i recently used this as my tile so you have to change it before you exit it i guess so yeah the anti to benchmark score was 18676 which is pretty good uh, the average was about 18700 so it's a really good performing raw with all the features it enables so yeah you can see the split view is working correctly so it is really cool now in my opinion the only reason i use the uh, stock rom is first of all i use the multi window application and the camera so that is the only reason i use stock rom for now so with this one you can really have a different option so you can see it's not fully working yet you can you can have a few glitches here and there but it's going to be a seamless experience in the near future so yeah that's really cool these are the apps with which it comes you just saw the entry to benchmark score that's something which i installed oh it does have ot updater which i'm not sure if it downloads the delta options i'm not i, I don't think it does uh, it's a normal ota like it downloads the full rom and it flashes for you so that's just a simplified version of it um it does come with all these apps really really cool it does have super su which is my preferred version of super user app rather than the cyanogen mod super user which is uh, i don't think that is really cool now the camera app uh some users were reporting that using the power shutter button which uh, is this one causes a crash in the in the camera but I didn't really find a crash I'm right now using it I just took a photo of it using the power button so I'm not sure if that uh, is really the case so you can see I'll try and take the photo yeah it's, it's taking my photo of my hand so yeah uh, the power shutter does work out I'm not sure if that's a glitch in a few people's uh, ROMs or something it works for me so let me show you guys the boot animation which is really cool so this is the boot animation which shows you codecs and AUSB. It's a lot different from the previous style of uh, program boot animation which gives you all the uh, specific ROMs which the ROM uses which are uh, PA, AOKP and Cyanogen mod and then goes through all of them. I have used this ROM for like two days with the battery life and the battery life is really great. I've used this from well in the previous version I guess it was the 1.2.2 version no 1.2.5 version I've used that ROM for like two days without charging and that well it was low usage but still for a KitKat ROM that's huge so it's one of one of the best battery life giving ROMs but right now I guess in the 1.2.5 it's a bit lower than that but uh, it really does uh, get, get you through one day so with medium usage so that's really cool so yeah i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you found it useful see you guys next time bye